I'm Nicole Clifton from Eka TV and today we're at the Royal Queensland Wine Show Awards. Let's find out which reds, whites and sparkling you should be enjoying this year. Oh, look, any third party exposure is terrific, but um, to win the number of trophies and, and the grand trophy today is outstanding. Um, just that additional exposure, not just around Queensland, but obviously the country is, uh, is enormous. Yeah, it's a beautiful wine, absolutely beautiful wine. And you know, somebody has to win. And uh, like I said before, um, the Pinot Noir is very popular and my version of Pinot Noir is called Nebbiola, which is an Italian variety of grapes, and it's a lighter style of, of red. That wine, just its, its perfume, it's so aromatic, so textural, it's just delicious. Um, for me, it was a wine that, um, through the judging, I, that, that wine looks fantastic. Um, then it popped up on the trophy table and it was just a little bit unlucky. It didn't quite get that red blended trophy. It missed out by one vote. Um, and who knows, it could have gone a lot further in the show, but it just gotten that one vote. I think my, my pick on the table here would have to be the Hentley Farm uh, 2018 Old Legend Grenache. The, uh, the style of that wine is more on the lighter style and in the Barossa they call it uh, Barossa Pinot because uh, due to its light nature. So this is Deep Woods Shiraz Cabernet, the 2017. Uh, for me, it's probably one of the wines of the show. It's got some lovely vibrancy, it's quite drinkable. Um, it's a wine that shows structure and fruit coming together beautifully, and so it's just a nice synergy. Look, I'm trying the Tintara Grenache. This was a trophy winning wine, it's also got Shiraz and Tariga. I think this is where Australian wine needs to be. We're looking now at more medium bodied and more flavour driven, not alcohol driven wines. Well, it's a single vineyard variety. It's always picked at its optimum freshness. Um, this wine will age well over the years because of that natural acidity. So I chose the Jacobs Creek Le Petit Rosé. It's a beautiful rosé. It's lots of savoury savory characteristics, but it's really fresh and vibrant and some lovely texture on the palate as well. And it's a beautiful pale pink colour as well. So I picked the 2015 Brad Brothers Patricia Noble Riesling. It's a dessert wine and it's very nice, not too sweet. And I think it would go nicely with like some blue cheese or like a bitter, like bitey cheese. And yeah, it was just really beautiful. And What's great about this wine is in the Patricia range that we don't release the wine each year. It's only if it's um, it's if the quality is up there that we actually release it. So you can guarantee this is going to be the best of the best that we can produce for this vintage.